with Jeff Schwartz of Ryzen Business. Jeff, you said that Ethernet might not always be the right technology for the customer. When is it exactly right? I think the question really is, um, from a broader perspective, there are a lot of different technologies that can go into a customer's uh, WAN infrastructure and matching the right technology with the customer's application is very important. Where we see Ethernet playing a very strong role is in high bandwidth applications, greater than 100 meg type of uh, bandwidth, one gig type of bandwidth and above. And we're seeing virtualization, storage, data center consolidation, uh, and uh, data center connectivity being the, being the big drivers of Ethernet growth both in the metro space, national and globally. Enterprise customers typically need a mix of fixed and virtual type network services. When is it most appropriate for an enterprise to go for a cloud-based approach? I think it comes down to the question of, of variability in network traffic and needing fixed and variable assets to most economically leverage your, your wide area network. Certainly you're going to need your fixed base assets for the, the, the broader based capacity in your network and ensuring that day in day out you have all the bandwidth that you need. When you take into consideration seasonality and variab variables like uh, tax season and um, shopping around the holidays, you desire and need a higher set of bandwidth that you may not need throughout the year. So you can either use cloud-based uh, services to augment your fixed-based service uh, base requirements, or you can leverage something like uh, an Ethernet bandwidth on demand capability that Verizon has to provide a throttling of traffic to meet those seasonality requirements as well. To what extent do your enterprise customers actually use your self-service portal to monitor Verizon's performance and their service level agreements? We've got a very, very robust portal. We call it the Verizon Enterprise Portal. Um, and um, we have a wide range of use from SLAs to network management and monitoring capabilities that you can gain access to. We also have, um, uh, in partnership with uh, Computer Associates and our e-health uh, capabilities, a broader set of network visibility and management capabilities that the customer can get, gain access to. Depending on the type of customer, the applications that may be driving their networks, and what level of managed services that customer may buy, it runs the gamut of exactly how much they're using the portals. But the self-service nature and giving the control and the management around their network capability in the hands of the customer is something that is, is first and foremost on customers' minds when they go into making a purchasing decision. How has Verizon had to change how it manages the network and services to meet changing enterprise customer requirements? Our uh, management capabilities and the needs of the customer have changed quite a bit, whereas we, um, we take great strides in ensuring that that end-to-end -end management is holistically viewed as part of our portal and how we uh, represent service characteristics and service SLAs to our customer. So we really focus on the solution and the end-to-end -end approach and that requires a high end of, of management and visibility on our own for, via probes network monitoring and management capabilities in the network, both proactively and reactively uh, provided, uh, as well as adherence to and adoption of the developing OAM standards that are coming about in the marketplace as well, which we've always been a leader in um, both uh, those standards and, and the MEF in terms of developing them as well. Jeff, thanks for talking with us. Thank you.